that is part of vascular system and uh, it starts from lymphatic capillary lymphatic capillary it is diagram only for your understanding not necessary to draw <laughs> that is lymphatic capillary what is the main differences between lymphatic and blood capillary lymphatic capillary is blind is blind and it is wider than blood capillary. If blood capillary it is uh, from 10 to 20 micrometers, uh, lymphatic capillary maybe from from 20 to 200 micrometers. That is, uh, lymphatic capillary is wider, and. Um, uh, it have not got uh, com, uh, basal membrane uh, and the thelial cells they join together with the help of connective tissue but complete uh, basal membrane in lymphatic capillary is absent in blood capillary we have basal membrane and endothelial cells heat is endothelial cells and uh, fibers which join these cells one with another but uh, it is absent complete uh, basal membrane lymphatic capillaries continues into lymphatic post capillary and border between them that is uh, first valve heat is we have valves and these valves help to conduct lymph in one direction lymphatic post capillary and all another lymphatic vessels uh, has uh, valves and that is why first valve that is a border between capillary and post capillary and post capillary has basal membrane post capillary continues into lymphatic vessels lymphatic vessels the same like blood vessels has three uh, layers three coats external that is adventitia middle layer that is muscular coat and inner layer that is tunica intima or endothelial cells uh, lymphatic vessels uh, the same has valves and they interrupt with lymph nodes and first lymph node uh, on the way of lymph from part of the human body or from inner organ that is original lymph node original and uh, what is the main importance of these original lymph nodes i think you know that uh, cancer cells can uh, spread through lymphatic tissue uh, lymphatic system and in this case if uh, cancer cells goes to uh, lymphatic capillary and pass through this post capillary and vessel it can absorbed in these lymph nodes and stay here that is why if we want to remove cancer from human body we need to do it together with uh, original lymph node is it clear lymphatic vessels uh, uh, which start from lymph nodes continues to another vessels and the same uh, interrupt with another lymph node maybe three sometime four rows of lymph nodes on the way of lymph and after that large lymphatic vessels large vessels which already not interrupt with lymph nodes has name lymphatic trunks and lymphatic trunks join together and forms lymphatic ducts in human body we have two lymphatic ducts uh, first, that is uh, ductus thoracicus, ductus thoracicus, and ductus thoracicus opens into the left venous angle. Who remember what is the left venous angle? It is junction between what and what? It is junction between uh, subclavian and uh, internal, internal jugular, jugular vein. vein that is beginning of brachiocephalic vein and ductus thoracicus opens into the left venous angle and uh, uh, ductus thoracicus this, uh, it forms with the help of truncus lumbalis right and left lumbar trunks they join together and forms ductus thoracicus the same ductus thoracicus receives left bronchomediastinal trunk left subclavian trunk 
truncus subclavius sinister and left jugular trunk. And after that, ductus thoracicus opens into the left venous angle. And on the right side, that is superior vena cava, here it is, that is internal jugular and subclavian. That is right venous angle, and <coughs> right venous angle have uh, right lymphatic duct, ductus lymphaticus dexter, and right lymphatic duct receives uh, truncus bronchomediastinalis dexter, truncus subclavius dexter, and truncus jugularis dexter. Sometimes right lymphatic duct is absent. In this case, all of these three trunks directly opens into right venous angle. That is why in human body we have two lumbar trunks, two bronchomediastinal, two subclavian, and two jugular trunks. All of them are paired, and sometime in 20% of cases, uh, we can found intestinal trunk, truncus intestinalis, only in 20%. If it is absent, in this case, from inner organs, lymphatic vessels opens directly into ductus thoracicus or into du uh, truncus lumbalis. Um, and uh, uh, right lymphatic duct only receive uh, lymph from right side of the head, neck, right upper extremity and right side of the chest but ductus thoracicus from both lower extremities from true pelvis from all organs in abdominal cavity and then left side of the chest left uh, upper extremity left uh, half of the ha head and left half of the neck two-thirds two-thirds of lymph flow through ductus thoracicus into left venous angle and one third of the lymph through uh, right lymphatic duct opens into uh, into uh, right venous angle uh, classification of lymph nodes and structure of lymph nodes uh, you read yourself in your manual in your manual it is everything described sinuses uh, types of lymph nodes, heat is, and functions of lymph nodes, the same heat is present. Only general information about lymphatic system. Heat is. That is all.